I've been part of the Yomai since 2011 when it was in Lakemba Croydon Street. I first started going there, I was really nervous, and then subhanAllah, the sisters just made it feel like comfortable, no judging, it was just, it was amazing. I've been here for around eight, nine months. As soon as I discovered this place, it was, it was just the brotherhood, the vibe that was here just gives you that urge to come day in, day out, and alhamdulillah, I haven't skipped a beat. I've known the UMA since 2013, back when they were in Lakemba. In Lakemba, it was just a small community centre, a small hall. We were as young youth who used to get involved in Lakemba Mosque, and subhanAllah, the Sheikh Shadi came to Lakemba Mosque, and then we started the brotherhood and the sisterhood at Lakemba Mosque, and it all started from there, subhanAllah. We just wanted to help the Muslim community. We wanted to start with Dawah, helping people to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so they can start practicing Islam. For me, I found it big because I've never been part of a sisterhood or in a community like that. But subhanAllah, over the years, it got much bigger. It's a huge growth from, from where it was to where it is today. They started off with just basic community programs, youth groups, brotherhood camps, and today they have uh, facilities for education, the Sydney Islamic College. They also have the Anima program. It's very fun to do everything around here. Like you can do a lot of stuff, like you can read good and you can go pray here. There's classes too, um, there's even a lot of events too. They do Sharia, they do Quran classes, they do fitness classes, they have the gift of smile. People that are having trouble off the streets can come in here. They've got a gym, they've got like indoor soccer, they've got like boxing classes. They've got everything that can keep you off the streets and keep you in a place like this and just keep you healthy. Mentally, physically, the best place to be. And they say that pictures say a thousand words. So here you are. What you see currently is only phase one, and this is phase two. Over here you can see the mosque where the establishment for prayer worship is. Over here is just a hall and open area where they can pray. And over here is, is Sydney Islamic College where classes, Sharia classes and Quran classes will be held. I would like to see it started very soon and finished, inshallah, very soon. I see it growing, mashallah, alhamdulillah, like, especially for our youth because there's not much out there for our youth. They have somewhere to come, they can play, they can enjoy themselves and they also can get some Islamic advice. I would like to see bigger plans for special need families. That's my passion now because I, my daughter is, has special needs. Pama just since coming here, that was very supportive. We had a lot of people just, you know, comforting and just love fighting for who she was and not what she had. And I just felt comfortable feeding her the feeding tube and doing everything she needed in front of everyone. It didn't bother me. No one was judging, no one was looking, they were just there to support and to be there for me. I was, you know, I was going for a roller coaster up and down in my life until I, I came here one time. It was one time for a dhar prayer, and it just it kicked on from there, from Asha to Maghrib to learning Quran to learning how to read Arabic. And I recommend anybody that lives nearby, doesn't live nearby, to come even just check it out for the for the day. And trust me, you can't go wrong. Whatever the human man needs, we were there to back it up all the way. You don't do it for just yourself. You got to do it for the ones that are coming after you. That's what you have to leave a legacy for the ones coming after. Help this prosper and get bigger because there's nothing like this in Sydney and Australia. There's not, no centre that does what this centre does and caters for what this centre caters for. They wanna hate on our dean, we'll give them dawah. Who's the one and only? Nobody but Allah. What is the benefit of hanging in the streets? Acting bad like you wanna run in the scene. You're getting nothing from that empty life you lead. Come to Islam, you find your inner peace. No champagne, we don't rave. We're in a real hot, we just pray. When Aki's ain't up, we'll be drinking some zum minty, talking about our bee and having our fun. See, these rappers don't wanna run out of bars. We don't wanna run out of Iman.